Over the last three videos, I have guided you through a few of the factors that make up the state's accountability system. Today, I want to share some details regarding one of the ways the state measures our student performance and growth, as well as how it impacts accountability. This video will cover Domain 3, or the Closing the Gaps domain. The domain analyzes data and measures how public schools are succeeding in closing learning gaps among racial or ethnic groups, economically disadvantaged populations, and other factors. As I've mentioned previously, the Texas Education Agency is making substantial changes to the accountability system, and Domain 3 is one of the areas with the largest adjustments. Domain 3 is an important part of the accountability system to identify disparities among students. As educational leaders, we must provide resources and support to groups of students who are underperforming peers and catch them up academically. Previously, identified student groups called subpopulations received a yes or no regarding whether they met or exceeded the performance targets established by the state. Think of this as a bar. Did a student group make it over the bar or not? That was the yes or no aspect of the closing the gaps domain. The state is now proposing a change that creates a zero to four scale that grades progress toward long-term state targets that apply to expected student performance in the 2037-2038 school year. Yes, I said that correctly. The state will only award the maximum of four points if student groups meet the 2037-2038 target for their population. This change has huge ramifications. Now student groups are being measured by whether they met an interim target, a long-term target, or showed growth toward those targets. Another change the state is making relates to the size of student groups. Previously, when the state used the yes or no system, the subpopulation groups consisted of at least 25 students. Now, the minimum number of students in a group is just 10 children each. The score for the Closing the Gaps domain will focus on a school's two lowest performing racial, ethnic groups, along with a new high-focus supergroup consisting of special education, economically disadvantaged, emergent bilingual, and other highly mobile students. The Closing the Gap domain makes up 30% of a campus's grade. That's why we expect this change from TEA to impact A to F ratings. The likely result is a drop in letter grades across the state. Essentially, the state is seeking out the most challenged student populations rather than examining progress in closing performance gaps between all subpopulations of students. I think we can all agree that the size of the student group matters. A sample size that is too large or too small can skew the results. These smaller subgroups of 10 students appear to do just that. This will result in lower scores for schools and teachers who work hard to move the needle in the right direction for all students. I hope this piece of the puzzle helps clarify some of the factors that will impact your school's accountability rating. Next, we'll look at how changes to the college career and military readiness component of accountability will impact our high schools. Remember, you can visit my superintendent webpage at any time to view this series on accountability. Thank you for watching. I'll see you around our district.